she recognized na bato lang siya. Na para wala siyang emotion. Alam mo, it comes siguro din with her position kasi manager siya ng isang nagtaas ng isang isang government agency. So, nasanay siya. Iba yung pagmamanage doon sa kanyang agency, sa kanyang uh, trabaho, at saka pagmamanage sa mga kristyanong kapatid natin. Ha? So, hindi, hindi, hindi minsan nakakatulong na ba ito tayo. Mabay yung mga tips nila. Huwag akong bad tips. If you are speaking to whatever, dramatize your ideas and ask your listener questions to maintain their involvement. The combatives, these people are armed and ready for war. They enjoy disagreeing and blaming others. Lalapit ka pa na, o ano? Ano nyo naman? Hindi ba? Ay, nyo naman ang sasabihin ko? Paulit-ulit na lang, hindi ka na natuto. Hindi ba? Minsan, may sumang kinig sila sa'yo, inaaway ka na kagad nila kayo. But if you were speaking to a combative, Uh, yeah, if you are a combative person, kapag kayo yun, make an effort to put yourself in the speaker's shoes and understand. Yung 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 sarili sa kanilang, um, sa kanilang, uh, sa kanilang sitwasyon. And if you are speaking to a combative person, um, tanamin mo muna siya, talk about how you might agree to disagree or about what can be done differently next time. So sabihin mo lang sa kanya, oh, sa susunod, kaya dito naman, no, I please agree or you disagree. Do it in a, in a gentle manner. So next, bibilisan ko na lang ng konti kasi medyo mahaba pa. Number six, the analysts. These people are constantly in the role of counselor or therapist. Yung nabangit ko po, ito kayo na-analyze sila yung kwento mo. Ah, sabi nga, ah, ikaw na mo palang may kasalanan eh kasi sabi mo, may judgment pa. Diba? <laughs> Kasi sabi mo, ganito ganyan niya, eh. tinag-connect-connect yung mga kwento mo ngayon. So, ina-analyze nila ako. Alay, sinasabi mo, ah, yung asawa mo, ganito kasi yan. Ayan, di ba? So, may mga analysis sila at sila ay nag-a-advise. Alam ba ng tips natin? If you're an analyst, relax and understand that not everyone is looking for an answer, solution, or advice. Minsan may mga tao lang talaga na gusto mong magbulalas ng kanilang damdamin. Di ba? And, uh, It's also one way of when you, when you listen to them of respecting them. Kasi kwento lang, huwag mo naman siya analyze. And if you're speaking to an analyst, you might begin by saying, I just need, ayan, yun pa din, I just need to run something by you, I'm not looking for any advice. Walaan mo na siya. O, ayan ka na naman ha, ako nagbubulalas lang ng damdamin ko. Ayan. Begin mo na masking tape. Joke lang. Joke lang. So, they have gazers. They have gazers. Ito yung ideal. Ideal na, na listener. They have gazers are consciously aware of listeners. Ito yung madalas na pinupuntahan ng mga tao. Because they listen not only with their eyes, ears, and hearts, and try to put themselves in the speaker's shoes. This is the highest listening, uh, the highest level of listening. The listening skills encourage you to continue talking and give you the opportunity to discover your own solutions and let your ideas unfold. Ito yung pakikinggan ka lang talaga at hindi lang by their ears, but by their hearts. They go in. Na nararamdaman nila yung nararamdaman ninyo. Hindi lang yung text ang sinasabi ninyo, pero pati yung nararamdaman ninyo, nararamdaman nila. Tips, if you are an engager, keep it up. Ah, sino dito mga engager? At least feeling lang. <laughs> <laughs> feeling lang, feeling engager. No, people truly appreciate this about you. If you're speaking to an engager, take the time to acknowledge their attentiveness, thank them for their interest in you and your topic. So sabihin nyo lang, thank you, tapit lang sa likod, salamat and relief. May tanong? Walang tanong. Next. <laughs> Next, I got a sudden sign of quiz. Magka-quiz nga muna tayo para medyo may break bago ako pupunta sa tower time. Okay, sige. Um, ilang minutes pa? Ay, go lang. Pero sige, ganito. Pupunta na tayo sa PowerPoint. Yung quiz kapag may break. Kapag 
may break, so para malaman din niyo. May pag-aay itong nasa PowerPoint na sabi ko na rin na din naman. So, ito naman kasi nasa PowerPoint ay itong tinatawag na empathic listening. Now, iba yung attentive listening. When you say attentive listening, you attend to. Now, when I'm done kayo, narinig ninyo. Empathic listening is that we will learn in a while. So, empathic listening. It is empathy from Greek empathia, meaning affection or passion.